everybody. Busy at work. Um, getting ready for this um, success factor meeting. The first one. Um, another one of those motivational tools that's used to, one, connect the dots on the values of um, Point MMA, but at the same time as opportunity to stay motivated and focus on what you need to do to renew your spirit, renew your fitness, turn things around, make a comeback, prevent setbacks, and be successful. To me in fitness, the greatest thing is about trying to find peace. Regardless of where you at or what you're going through, throughout all that chaos, you have to remain at peace from the inside out. And that's what we're doing here, um, trying to get things um, a little bit more focused, um, working on notes, you know, new and improved things that came to my mindset. I know one thing that I'm so grateful for and blessed for is to learn how to stop taking things for granted around me. You know, I just look at the strength and power um, that my wife demonstrates. I mean, on November the 1st when she was in, she's she sitting there thinking about what she can do to help the people in New Jersey throughout food and toy drive. I mean, I am so blessed, so thankful. Even when I look at my little son, he's just so considerate and concerned for people. Even during the storm, he just wanted to call his family to see if everybody was okay. That's why it's so important, man, to work on yourself. It's so important to check yourself before you wreck yourself. I learned that in jail. You know, a lot of times I didn't check myself. I just kept on going along, thinking that I was okay. And I can tell you that the one time that I stopped putting my goals down on paper and stopped really planning for the future was the time that my life really went in a chaotic direction. I can't allow that to happen anymore. I thank God for giving me the strength and the will and the passion to get up like I do and just be focused, not on trying to make money, but trying to extend my internal wealth beyond my wildest dreams. I just want my family to have a better life. I want the people around me to have a better life. I want to make people better off when I leave their presence. I want to empower them. I want to help them. I don't want to be the man in charge. I want to be the person that's trying to help us find a neutral and universal way that benefits all of us so we can grow and we can find a harmonious way to continue to travel through life regardless of what the obstacles are externally, we don't have to allow it to affect us internally. And that's what today is all about. It's about being real. It's about staying focused. I mean, one of the things I realized about the martial arts industry, or maybe just people in general that have certain titles or in certain positions, it's hard to stay vulnerable and let other people know where you're at and where you're trying to go. That doesn't make you weak. It's the opposite of being strong. You know, and it reminds you of where you came. I mean, I have no regrets for the blessings that are in my life. You know, it just makes it hard to understand when I see people trying to force their ways and their concepts on other people. And I just see people who, I mean, and I guess I was that way, man, when you're around people and you're trying to give them word of advice or encouragement to just grow, especially those that are even closer to you, family and friends. They just continue to challenge the norm. You know, it's like, I, I'll take one of my, my experiences. When you're in a shelter and never thinking that you would ever be eating stale donuts, you know, drinking stale drinks and eating stale bread and some of the most disgusting mixes that you can possibly have. And you in that shelter, hungry as I don't know what because you ain't eat because you done spent all your money up on drugs, whatever it may be, and you go through that kitchen, you can't debate and tell that man, look, I don't want this, man, I don't eat this. What you gotta do, and what I learned is that I better shut up and learn to feed my gut 
so I can get enough strength to find a way to improve upon what's in front of me. If my reality is that I ain't got no other choices but to eat what's there, and if my reality is that when I really looked at myself, I was the person that put me there because of the choices that I made, I need to shut up. I need to listen up. I need to realize that my way don't work. I'm not saying that I don't have the strength and wasn't blessed with the opportunities to be successful that got me in those places that I was in. So now I need to change my best thinking and adjust it so I can have a better way of thinking. One that's based on other people's successes that ties back to how I can look at the things that I took for granted. When I talk about that soup line and that nasty food, I often think about the kitchen table where my mom would say, you better eat that food, boy, because you know what? One day you're going to wish you had it. Yeah, that's what I said. She was right. Walking them streets, looking for food, trying to figure out how did I get here? She was right. So when you, when your ego, your pride, your, 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 your will and your desire to want to just say something or keep it real, keeping it real what? Keeping it real keeps you stuck. For real, keeping it real is being able to stay open, knowing when to speak, knowing when not to speak. And most of the time, it's not even necessary. Because maybe if somebody in a different position, to me, the most successful person is the responsible one. That's the one that takes care of their family. They take care of their kids. They go to work on time. They don't sit around and look for handouts. They don't want nobody to give them something for free. They don't always look around hoping that you're going to hook me up. They are the people that earn all what they have. And they will earn, they will work even harder. They find it hard to even accept what you want to give them. You know why? Because they want it to be an exchange of energy. Just like exchange of a service. When you render service to someone, they pay you. But when you render energy to someone, they return that energy. The great thing about that sort of exchange, universal harmonious exchange, is that when you give more, they give more. So it becomes a continuous cycle of growth, opportunity, and motivation. And when you got somebody that's not contributing more to it, then you got a serious problem. Those are the people that you combat your life from. You got to watch those type of energies around you. Because some people are just okay with just being that way. They know they suck you dry. They know that they, 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 know, they know what they're doing. And they choose to still do it. Martial arts is about, first of all, you not allowing yourself to do that to you. And once you can allow yourself not to do that to yourself, then you can stand up and deal with everybody else to try to do it to you. Because if you ain't going to hurt you and hold you down and, and succumb to negativity, don't allow nobody else to do it to you. That's why you got to keep the focus on that gut and build up. It's easy to break a brick or talk about how you done ran your head through a wall or the next, or the guy that you done beat up in the rain. The hardest thing is to be true to your God's calling and to stand up and stand up to those that chooses not to live in a harmonious way to empower the next generation. You got to stand up and you got to correct them in a loving way. I told a guy, come up, he spit at me, spit on me, whatever, disrespect me, whatever. I'm going to let that one go. And I'm going to tell you, I'm, you got that pass. He ain't going to get a second pass. And I ain't going to say it in an arrogant way. Say it in a loving way. The reason why he's not going to get a second chance, because I ain't going to put myself in that situation to allow you to get a second chance. When you when you, when you encounter me again, it's going to be at a distance because there's going to be a boundary. You're going to first have to figure out how to get across that boundary. But the thing that I learned is that that spiritual boundary that I continue to build up is going to be harder. Because when you mess up one time, it's going to be harder to get that opportunity again. That's just the natural survival skills of, of human development. 
somebody hits you in the jaw one time, they ain't got to worry about hitting you again because you're naturally going to flinch. That's just how you were designed. The problem is, is when you naturally flinch or your gut tells you something and you don't listen to it, be true to yourself. That's what it's all about. To thy own self be true.